When I first got into bug bounties, I had no idea how much it would change my life. Not just financially, but career-wise too. I went from hacking for fun in college to earning enough to cover my rent, buy whatever gear I wanted to, and eventually make it my full-time job. But here's the part no one warned me about. Just because you're pulling in 10, 20, 30 grand a month doesn't mean you will have anything left at the end of the year. It turns out making good money is only half the battle. If you don't have a solid system to manage it, it disappears fast. And trust me, I had to learn that the hard way. That's why I want to share the system that helped me finally get it together and save my first hundred thousand dollars as a bug bounty hunter and a hacker it's called the profit first system and the best part is you don't need to be earning six figures to start using it whether it's your goal to save a thousand dollars or build a five grand runway to go full-time with bug bounty hunting or just stack up a hundred thousand dollars for your dream home or startup this framework will help you get there whether you're hacking part-time or full-time Take just one second to mentally jot down a number. What would having that number in your savings let you do? Maybe it helps you quit your job. Maybe it helps you travel. Maybe it helps you upgrade your setup. That number gives this whole system a purpose. And if you're up for it, share your number or your goal in the comments down below. It could be a thousand, it could be 10,000, or it could be that you want to save your first hundred thousand dollars. There is zero judgment here. And who knows, you might inspire someone else to set theirs too. But before we dive in, just a quick heads up. This is not legal or financial advice. I am not a CPA or a financial planner. I'm just sharing what worked for me based on my own experience in the bug bounty world. Cool? All right. Let's rewind to where it all started. For me. So during my first year doing bug bounties, I was still in college. This time, there were fewer companies running programs and the highest bounty that you may have seen was around ten dollars to $15,000. So having fewer targets meant fewer opportunities, but also it meant fewer hackers. So in a weird way, it was both harder and easier at the same time. My first big payout was $9,000 for finding three SQL injections across a few Yahoo subdomains. And yeah, that was freaking wild. I was a student at the time and suddenly I had a check that basically covered a year of rent. But here's the thing. I spent that money way faster than I expected. My rent and living costs were only about 800 bucks a month, so I really should have saved a huge chunk of that money. But instead, I went full fast and furious and bought a convertible white BMW E46. Not exactly peak financial wisdom, but hey, I was young, I was dumb, and I had no idea what I was doing. Things started to shift when I joined Hacker One the following year. I was making about $100,000 a year and still hacking on nights and weekends. My cost of living was still low, so I figured I was golden. But turns out just because you're earning more doesn't mean that you're saving more as well. I was spending without thinking. Weekends out, nice dinners, new phone, new laptop. I thought that a bigger paycheck meant that I could afford more. And technically I could. And I think they call this something like lifestyle creep and i was a great candidate for it and i wasn't building anything for the long term i didn't have a plan i was just reacting to whatever was in my bank account that week or that month and honestly it didn't really click until i went full-time with bug bounties that's when i started taking savings seriously i wanted to move out build a real financial runway and have the freedom to take breaks whenever i needed it and i realized something that changed everything for me earning more isn't the key being intentional with your money is. So how did I go from impulse buying gadgets and convertibles to saving my first hundred grand? It will all come down to a system called profit first. Most people, my past self included, follow this basic formula, make money, pay bills, then see what's left. That's revenue minus expenses equals profit. Profit first flips that on its head and says, pay yourself first. So take a chunk of every bounty you earn and immediately set it aside before you pay for anything else. So the formula now becomes revenue minus profit equals expenses. You make sure saving happens first, not if there's anything left at the end of the month. It's basically like hacking your own finances. You're building a system that makes saving the default and not the afterthought. The first step here is to set up multiple bank accounts each with a specific job. I like to use four, one for savings, one for taxes, one for my personal expenses like my rent, bills, and et cetera, and one for my operating expenses. Those are like my VPS, Kaido licenses, and more. I keep savings and taxes in a high yield account so that money actually grows a little while it sits. It might sound like an overkill, but trust me, once you separate things out, it becomes so much clearer. You're way less likely to accidentally dip into your tax money for a new monitor or random Amazon purchase. For even more discipline, you can use a completely different bank. It makes it way less tempting to move money around 
just because you feel like it. Then with every bounty payout, you allocate a set percentage to each account. It doesn't matter if it's a small bounty payout or a huge one, consistency is key here. Personally, when I get paid, I put 38% aside for taxes. That's where my bracket is. And then I split the rest between savings, personal expenses, and my operating costs. Again, like my tools, licenses, and infrastructure. I take 20% for long-term savings, then 30% for my personal expenses, and then 10% for my operating expenses. Now, within that 20% savings slice, you can also do what I do. I take about a third of it and invest it in whatever I'm into. It could be crypto, it could be stocks, index funds, whatever makes sense to you. Personally, I've got a little portfolio that's part boring, long-term stuff, and part hold on for the rest of my life, diamond hand energy. Just make sure that you're not betting the entire farm. This is savings first, investing second. And I know this is all personal preference. This is how I do it. You're more than welcome to change this formula up and invest more or even save up more as much as you like. And of course, if I end up over saving for taxes, even better, I've got a little bit of a bonus waiting after tax season. Maybe it could be used for vacation or I can just reinvest it in my portfolio. Now, one thing that really helped me was batching payouts. Instead of cashing out the moment money lands in your Hacker One account, I would suggest waiting until the end of the month. Or even better, you can also wait until it hits a certain threshold, like $20,000. Then I do one structure allocation. That way, money isn't just coming into my account randomly and disappearing without a trace. And even better, you can go as far as automating it. If your bank supports scheduled transfers, set them up to fire off as soon as a payout hits. Now, one click can be the difference between I'll do it later and actually sticking to our plan. And last thing, review your setup monthly. Your tax bracket might change, or maybe you want to scale up your personal budget or maybe spend less in your day-to-day -day expenses. Profit first is flexible, but just make sure you're not using that flexibility as an excuse to rob your savings every time there's a new phone or a new MacBook Pro. So. That's a system. In a nutshell, set up your accounts, decide on the percentage that you want to use, batch your payouts, automate where you can, and review it regularly. Try for the next few bounties you earn. You may actually be surprised at how much you're able to save without really changing your lifestyle all that much. And if you want to level up even more, there are a few books that I highly recommend reading if you're up for it. First one being Profit First by Mike Michalowicz. Michalowicz? Mike Michalowicz, and this is where the entire concept comes from. The second and last book is The Psychology of Money by Morgan Housel. It is a killer read for understanding why we make the financial decisions that we do. And if you end up trying this system or you've got your own way of managing money with bug bounty income, I'd love to hear it. Drop him down in the comments. And when you hit that first savings goal, whether it's $1,000, $10,000, or even the big $100,000, let me know. I'll be rooting for you, and I will see you all in next week's video. Peace.